Hi guys, I'm Taylor. Welcome back to AI Wonderland. I am extremely excited to review Storybird today. This is probably my favorite AI tool yet. Um, basically, you can take a prompt and turn it into an entire story and there are some really cool features uh, that the website allows for you. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is create a prompt. Um, and as you guys can see, they want you to be detailed up to a thousand characters, um, use names and as many details and places as you'd like and so I came up with a very simple prompt uh, and then I'm gonna go back in and make it a little bit more detailed and we're gonna see how the story catches on to everything that I put in the system so very simple there's a young boy he's very ambitious he's just um, you know working away and he wants to invent something really cool hint hint his name is ford so we're going to be doing something about a car uh and we're gonna bring it full circle so there's a young boy named ford he's an inventor he tried many inventions until one day he invents a car sounds horrible but you'll see how i edit it a little bit more the reason i'm being very general right now is because i want to get my idea in the prompt and then i want to go in and say okay this is what i mean by that this is what i mean by that don't be afraid to be as detailed as possible because it's going to matter because storybird is going to help you make money storybird is going to help you create stories for your family storybird is pretty much going to change the entire uh publishing industry if they continue with what they're doing So we add some verbs and um, we focus on his age. Where does he live? Detroit, because you know, Ford, um, G and C or whatever is in Detroit. Um, there are three factories in Detroit. Um, GM is what I meant to say. Long story short, I'm going to put together a prompt and I'm only at 300 words and it already feels like a lot compared to what we usually do. What we usually do is type in a word, two or three words and then a comma and then another word and then comma. This one you can put full sentences and get what you need um, out of it. In fact, it probably would be a disservice for you to use commas. You're better off using full sentences to help generate this story. So I try my best on my own to create a really interesting story in Detroit where GM and Ford are. Instead of a car, he invents a car engine. Uh, he becomes extremely wealthy and he tells his grandson about how hard he worked. So we have a full circle story here. But one of the great things about Storybird is that they have a link to tell you how to write an effective prompt uh, for story generation. And this is where you really can understand why they are giving you up to 1,000 characters. So first thing to notice right off the bat, this is different than any other site that we use that's a generator. You do not have to separate it uh, with commas and short words. Uh, this is something where they're asking you to be very detailed, full sentences, personalize it. Um, you can specify the genre, the intent, the target audience. So it's not just writing you a story. It's writing you a very successful story based on what it is that you want. So you don't have to do anything. And it seems like the most important thing is to make sure you write write a story about. So write a story about a 21-year-old young boy named Ford living in Detroit. He's a measly engineer. He... Um, is working and working every day and one day he creates something that's so massively successful that um, he basically pushes out every competitor over the next 20 years 
So there are a few things I want to talk about, but I'm going to get into the features after we look at my story based on my prompt. It takes about 30 seconds to generate the book as well as the book cover. Now, I do want you to know that the images used aren't always the best and they're not always that consistent, but has nothing to do with how amazing the actual story is um, and how well it flows based on my prompt. So... Let's go ahead and look at the actual story. So in the heart of Detroit, a city known for its rough exterior but optimistic spirit, lived a 21-year-old boy named Ford. Despite his youth, um, he was a modest engineer by day. He was not satisfied with just being another anonymous part of the industrial machine. So the thing that I like most about these stories um, is probably that there's very minimal room for you to need to edit. If you did, you could go in and edit it a little bit. You can delete a few things. But the story itself is very... Um, it's a it's an easy read. It's a good read. It's not like something you can tell is AI generated. It actually sounds like I wrote it or you wrote it. So you're allowed to edit a lot of the story. You can delete things. Um, I just like how it followed my prompt to the T, filled in the blanks, and really asked me to do very minimal editing. I read the entire story and I wouldn't edit any of it. Now, what I wanna do is get into these features which make Storybird so great. Um, you can always claim your story, which is adding it to your own account. Once you've claimed your story, it's attached to your account. Um, so you can edit it or you can publish it on Amazon, which is one of the features we are going to talk about today, guys. Again, Storybird is really, really impressive. I'm just not even going to pretend. So I went ahead and claimed my story and now, so I like the flagging feature where you can report if the app is not doing what you asked it to do, um, as well as something, if something is inappropriate or it has hateful themes towards real people. Another feature that they do have is that you can actually order a physical book for about $26. Um, so you can order the book uh, have it sent to your house. It's hardcover, 50 pages, which is like basically a real book. <laughs> um, you can also publish on Amazon, although this is like a beta. I'd say that you guys should pay really close attention to that because you'll receive 70% of the revenue when you sell that on Amazon. Um, and you really didn't do any work. This is new since the last time I've come to the website is generating audio. They have a Sir Richard voice, um, which is a male voice, and a Fatima voice, which is a female voice. And for only $2, um, you can get an audio of your book, which probably would work really well if you had like a YouTube channel or a small child uh, you were planning to let listen to the book. Now let's talk about these images. I do not like the images, um, but like I said, compared to all the other pluses to the site, this is very minor. Um, so you can definitely go to the website and find out why they use certain images. Um, they're very straight to the point and detailed about that um, and where they get these images from, as well as where they get the audio voices from. And if you go, and log in, you actually can see other people's stories. Um, you can see that like button where some of the more popular stories are placed towards the top. Um, this one has 24 likes um, and it was just made last month. Uh, but long story short, you can, um, this is kind of like a, almost like social media for books. You really don't need to go to Amazon to get it because you can like someone else's story and probably get it printed and then that other person will be able to profit off of your interest. Um, other great things, uh, they do have a plugin that will attach to ChatGPT. So definitely take a look at that. 
And as far as your library, um, you can pretty much create anything you like with Storybird is so impressive. Uh, like I said, it's probably the most impressive AI tool I've ever used uh, so far, even in comparison to things like Midjourney, because it doesn't just allow you to create a story. It allows you to turn it into something physical in a physical form. Like if Midjourney lets you print your images, that would make it so much more cooler because you can get it, um, get the hard work you paid for in the mail. Uh, they're letting people make money off of these books, whether they're copying it directly from the website or they're using Storybird's future um, Amazon program. And at a more basic level, the quality is there. Uh, the story is good. It's based off of your prompt. You don't have to do it 50 different times to get things done. Uh, you don't have to remix the prompt itself to get a new story. You can go in and edit the story yourself. Uh, the title comes with it. The URL comes with it. I mean, it's it's just one of a kind. Um, so I really encourage you guys to go to Storybird and try to create a story. Um, I challenge you. I know the images make you feel like you should be creating a children's novel. Um, but as you guys saw, there was a story that was really popular about autism. Um, go in and try to create your own story. My guess is that as this gets more popular... Uh, we're going to see some really impressive uh, stories on here. So definitely go in and get your feet wet. Again, my name is Taylor. Thank you for checking in to AI Wonderland. And I'm super excited to have you guys here.